Breaking news. There is a great deal of confusion over Putin's statement regarding his unrecognizable status and remarks that have been picked up by a professor who has previously asserted that the Russian president is dead, Vladimir Putin has addressed suspicions that he uses a body double, while Putin has been at the helm of the war in Ukraine, rumors about his health have grown, and the Kremlin has denied using body doubles for public appearances. As he addressed the rumors during his visit to the remote eastern area of Chukaka, the Russian president said, they often look at me and say, I don't believe it, is it actually you, or not you, when he runs across former classmates or other pupils. The author argued that this demonstrated how people doesn't always know how they would behave when they find themselves at a certain level of responsibility. A former professor at the Institute of International Relations, Jimo, Valerie Solovey, uploaded the 24-second footage to X with the caption, the so-called Putin publicly complained that his friends no longer recognized him. According to Solovey, Putin passed away in October 2023 and Nikolai Patrushev, the secretary of Russia's Security Council, was covertly in charge of the country. He claimed to Ukrainian TV host Dmitry Gordon that a freezer had Putin's corpse, Putin, kicked off the new year in Ukraine by launching nearly 100 Shahid loitering munitions against cities across the country, according to Russian President Vladimir Putin. He specifically targeted innocent men, women, and children in Ukraine. By targeting Ukrainian civilians with Iranian-supplied shaded drones, Kinzhal missiles, and Tupolev 295 strategic bombers, the Kremlin has aimed to gain a tactical advantage for its struggling forces as their counteroffensives grind to a standstill in Avdiivka, Kupiansk, and other parts of the Donbass, bombing housing complexes, schools, and hospitals doesn't seem to be serving any real military purpose, according to Putin. Even though these actions constitute war crimes and blatant breaches of the protocols of the Geneva Convention, the United Nations Security Council has been unable to punish Russia due to opposition from Moscow and Beijing, but Putin's attack on Ukrainian humanity is not without a twisted military logic, as pointed out by retired Navy Lieutenant Chuck Farrer in the Kiev Post. Putin is pressuring Kyiv to station most of its Patriot missile defense systems near its main population centers by arming non-combatants in Ukraine. This is homicidal madness, according to Farr. Nonetheless, it is purchasing Russian military in the southern regions and the Donbass. It is also making it harder for Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky and his generals to prepare for an offensive that would drive Putin's forces from the strategically important Crimean Peninsula. Putin's callousness toward innocent people's deaths in pursuit of his own agenda is predictable. It was clear that Putin was hell-bent on weaponizing civilians in his conflicts and military actions in Georgia, Syria, and Chechnya. As part of its backing for Bashir al-Assad's corrupt administration, Russia helped launch sarin gas strikes in Syria. In 2014, Separatists backed by Russia shot down Malaysia Airlines aircraft MH17 over eastern Ukraine, killing 298 people. We have already characterized Putin's approach to domestic government as murder incorporated. His hit list includes the poisoning of Sergei Skripal and his daughter in the UK in 2018 as well as journalists, political opponents, and stubborn oligarchs, humanitarian casualties started piling up shortly after Putin launched his special military operation in Ukraine. There was no mishap or rogue Russian unit responsible for Putin's crimes against humanity in Bucha during the early months of the war. As a warning to the Ukrainian people, it was part of a deliberate and systematic effort to ruthlessly secure a route to the capital, Kiev, a signal that they'd better give in or face bloodshed. For the same reason, Russian artillery has decimated once prosperous cities like Bakhmut and Avdiivka.